Hello, welcome back to Real Opinions. I am here again, not Harrison, then, to talk about the Human Centipede 3 final sequence. I really wish these films didn't exist. I really wish I hadn't seen all three of these films, but sadly none of those things are true. If for some reason you don't quite know what the Human Centipede is, it's kind of a weird, cheap... I would say B-movie, but it's like Z-movie. It's even worse than B-movie. Based around the idea of human beings psychotic enough to staple the mouth of one human to the anus of another human to form one long digestive tract and they kind of crawl along and form a human centipede. In the first movie, there were three people in the human centipede. In the second movie, there were 12 people in the human centipede. And in this one, the third movie, there are an indeterminate number of humans, but let's just say a lot more than 12. If you can try and imagine a plot beyond the fact that there's a human being's face attached to another human being's anus, I guess it's to do with the fact that there's a prison warden and his sidekick who are going to be fired by a governor, played by Eric Roberts. They're going to be fired, so the only way they can not be fired is to come up ways with ways to cut prison costs and their way to cut prison costs is to staple one prisoner's mouth to another prisoner's... Own. Yeah, they're going to make a human centipede out of prisoners. If I sound like I have very little patience talking about this film, it's because I do. I really, really detest the very fact that these films exist. When the first trailer for the first one came out, I kind of laughed a little the first time and thought it was a joke. And then I realised it was a full film, I was kind of curious. By the time the second one came out, I was just plain old disturbed. And uh, now the third one's come out. I know it's just a complete cash grab. And the only reason these films exist is because of controversy. There's no other way to describe it. They, the only reason people watch these films is because other people talk about how disgusting they are. No one sits down and says, I want to watch one man's face attached to another man's anus. If you asked someone that question, no one would say yes. Because not just are these movies disgusting, but they're really horribly made. I mean, I'm going to hone in on the third one now, because I feel like I'm being kind of too broad and talking about the whole trilogy as a whole. But when you look at the other two movies, the first one's just cheap crap and kind of boring. The second one's very disgusting and deeply disturbing as well. It kind of gets inside your head a little bit. This one is kind of a mixture of the two. A lot less disturbing than the second one, but more so than the first one. Uh, more disgusting than both of them, no doubt, um, and much more boring and much more annoying as well. The two villains from the previous films, Dieter Laser from the first one and Lawrence R. Harvey from the second one, uh, are the kind of joint protagonist-antagonists in this one, um, which I don't quite know why, but they are. Uh, neither of them are particularly good. Lawrence R. Harvey's a British guy that cannot hold an American accent to save his life. Dieter Laser's a German guy that doesn't even try. And he's just very loud and obnoxious and annoying all the way through. Uh, the porn star Brie Olsen is also in this movie. And she is the most convincing part of the film. When the most convincing performance in your film is delivered by a porn star, something is very, very wrong. There's a meta joke that the second one is built on. The second film is built around the idea that there's a guy that saw the first film and is obsessed with it so much he wants to make his own human centipede. Fair enough. Relatively clever way of setting up. However, this third film extends that meta joke even further by saying these people get the idea for the human centipede by watching the first two films. They then contact Tom Six himself and ask him how to do it. So Tom Six himself is also in this movie. And it just, it gets to the point where it feels like they're kind of beating you over the head and saying, look how clever and different we are. And it's just, it's, it's effort to sit through this film. It really, really is. On top of all the disgusting things in this film, it's just boring. It just kind of wanders around. The, the actual human, human centipeding part of the film doesn't really happen until the last act. And the rest of the film just feels like this really kind of shoddily made, crummy, kind of daytime soap opera. And on top of that, it feels like it kind of goes out of its way to just be as offensive as humanly possible. It's racist, it's sexist, it's homophobic, 
and all for no reason. It kind of doesn't really make jokes out of it, it just does it for the sake of it. And it is tiring to watch. I'm going to keep saying this, and this review has just felt like I'm just barking nonsense into a camera, but it's more of a rant than a review, really, because this film is just a pile of shit, quite literally. It's barely even a film. I have a feeling, I can't remember if it was definitely about the first film or not, but it was about a film similar to this. Anyway, Roger Ebert said he didn't even feel like he could grace it with a star rating because star ratings are for films and that wasn't a film. And I feel the same way about this one. This doesn't really feel like a film at all. It just feels like an extended joke that has now gone way too far. Trying to find nice things to say about this film, I guess, if you like the first two films for some reason. I don't know why you would, but if you do... You will probably like this one. I mean, it's it's less heavy-handed than the second one. The acting is slightly better. At its best, Dear to Laser, who's the kind of the, the warden, at its best, he's kind of funny because he kind of, in Harrison's words, ready Edmains it all the way through, where he'll just talk quite normally and then suddenly shout for no reason. And that's kind of about it. There's nothing else really particularly interesting or watchable about this film unless you like watching people have their testicles removed. I said just now that this is just an extended joke and it is just an extended joke and I mean there are films a whole series that have lasted on an extending joke for a long time but this one isn't even a good joke. This is just a really crummy poo joke that Tom Six seems to like. He just wants to see someone eat someone else's shit. That's the only reason the first film exists. Someone made three films about a poo joke. <laughs> so, in conclusion, rant over. Surprise, surprise, the Human Centipede 3 final sequence is a pile of shit. It might, in some ways, be better than the first and second films, but that doesn't mean shit. This film shouldn't exist. The second film shouldn't exist. I might let the first one exist just because it's kind of, the trailer's kind of funny. But no, no, this shouldn't exist. And it actually hurts to say that I've seen it. So um, I know we've given out a lot of ones this year. I know Harrison Jack really hated Monsters Dark Continent. We all really hated Fifty Shades. Uh, the worst films of the year list is, it's going to be the tough one. But this is definitely on there. I don't I might even say this is worse than Taken Three. I I don't know. I'm giving it a one out of ten. And I really hope that Tom Six just stops making films. It feels like he's slowly becoming the Ui Bowl of our generation. Except at least Ui Bowl kept making different jokes over and over and over again. They're all shit jokes, but they were different jokes. This is just the same shit joke repeated several times. Right, I'm gonna stop here before I give myself an aneurysm. Thank you for watching, as always. One of the rest of the team will be back in the near future. Uh, look out for more.